arithmetic progression exercise 1.3 first may find the sum of the following ap's and the first question 2 7 12 and so on to 10 terms we have to find out the sum okay we know that we have to use the formula s is equal to n by 2 to a plus n minus 1 into d now here a is equal to what a1 is equal to a, right? It is nothing but 2. The value of a is 2. D is equal to a2 minus a1. That is a2 is 7 and a1 is 2. 7 minus 2 is 5. Now let us apply the formula. S is equal to n by 2 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Yes. Is equal to. Now say find the sum to 10 terms. 10 terms. Nothing but what? Terms means n. Right? Therefore n is equal to what? 10. So in the place of n let us write 10. 10 by 2. Then bracket 2 into a. 2 into a. The value of a is 2. Okay. Therefore 2 into 2 plus bracket n. The value of n is 10. 10 minus 1. Then the value of d is what? 5 into 5. s is equal to 2 1s are 2 5s are 10. Right? Therefore, 5 into 2 2 are 4 plus 10 minus 1 is what? 9 into 5. S is equal to 5 4 plus 9 5s are 45. Then S is equal to 5 into 4 plus 45 is what? 49. S is equal to 5 into 49 is 245. We got the answer. Okay. Now let me explain the meaning of this question. See here 2, 7, 12, 2, 10 terms. It means 2, 7, 12. Now say it's the first term, second term, third term. Then the next term is what? Fourth term is 17. Then the next term is 22. Then 27. 32. The next term is 37. Then 42. 47. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Isn't it? These are the 10 terms of this AP. What they have asked? We have to find out the sum of 10 terms. Means, if you add 2 plus 7 plus 12 plus 17 plus 22 plus 27 plus 32 plus 37 plus 42 plus 47. What you will get? That is the question. If you add all these 10 terms, what will be the answer? It is difficult to find out. For that purpose, we are using the formula. So that we can find the sum easily. Or else you can do this. 2 plus 7 plus 12 plus 17 plus 22 plus 27 plus 32 plus 37 plus 42 plus 47. Exactly you will get 245. You can do it and see. Okay. This is the meaning of the question. No need to do this. It's just for your understanding. Exercise 1.3. First may find the sum of the following APs. Second question. Minus 37, minus 33, minus 29 to 12 terms. First let me solve the problem and afterwards let me explain it. Here A is equal to minus 37. A it is nothing but what? A1. 
Now D. D is equal to A2 minus A1. D is equal to A2. A2 is what? Minus 33. Minus A1. A1 is minus 37. Therefore, take it in the bracket. Okay. D is equal to minus 33. Minus into minus is what? Plus 37. Minus 33 plus 37 is what? Plus 4. D is 4. Now, see here. We have to find out up to 12 terms. The name itself says terms. Terms denotes what? N. That is N is equal to 12. These are the information available in the question. By using this, we have to find out the sum of 12 terms. Okay? Copy down. I am going to rub the board. We know the value of A, D and N. That is A is equal to minus 37. D is equal to 4. Then N is equal to 12. By using this, let us find out the sum. Use the formula S is equal to N by 2. 2a plus n minus 1 into d. s is equal to n. In the place of n we have to write 12. 12 by 2 into 2 into a. a. The value of a is minus 37. Let me take this in the bracket since we have minus symbol. For this plus let me write plus. Bracket n that is 12 minus 1 d the value of d is 4. Okay, then 2 1s are 2 6 are 12. S is equal to 6 2 into minus 37 that is minus 74 plus 12 minus 1 is. 11 into 4. S is equal to 6 into minus 74 plus 11 into 4 is what? 44. S is equal to 6 into minus 74 plus 44 is minus 30. S is equal to 6 30 is 180. That is plus into minus is minus 180. The sum of first 12 term is what? Minus 180. Now let me explain the meaning of this. Okay. What is given in the question? Minus 37, minus 33, minus 29 to 12 terms. We have to find out the sum up to 12 terms. First let me write the 12 terms of an AP. That is. Minus 37, minus 33, minus 29, minus 25, minus 21, minus 17, minus 13, minus 9, minus 5, minus 1, 3 and 7. See here, these are the first 12 terms of this AP, right? According to the question, we have to add all these and we have to find out the answer. That is minus 37 plus minus 33 plus minus 29 like that up to plus 7. And we have to add all these and we have to find out the answer for it. But for us it is difficult to add all these terms. So we are taking the help of the formula. That is by using this formula we can find out the sum of first 12 terms. Okay. Or else for the verification you can add this and you can check the answer. But no need to do it in the exam. It is just for your understanding. Do it only up to here. That is just for your understanding. Exercise 1.3. Find the sum of the following APs. Third question. 0.6, 1.7, 2.8, 200 terms. 
set A is equal to 0 0.6. D is equal to A2 minus A1. Right? D is equal to. A2 is what? 1.7. Minus A1. It is 0.6. We know that A it is nothing but A1. Right? Now. 1.7 minus 0 0.6 is what? 1.1. D is equal to 1.1. Someone of them, they will find difficult to subtract the decimal numbers. So, let me do that side. That is 7 minus 6 is 1. 1.1. Okay? Then, N is equal to Look at the problem. 100 terms. Terms, the name itself says it denotes n. n is equal to 100. We got these informations from the question. Then, let us use the formula to find out the sum. Copy down. I am going to rub the board. S is equal to n by 2 to a plus n minus 1 into d. Let us use this formula to find out the sum. We know the value of a, n and d. That is a is equal to 0.6. d is equal to 1.1. n is equal to 100. Right? Let us substitute in this formula. s is equal to n. In the place of n, let us write 100 by 2 2 into a the value of a is what 0.6 plus bracket open n the value of n is 100 minus 1 d the value of d is 1.1 ok then s is equal to 2 1 sum to 5 are 10, 0. That is 50. 2 into 0.6 is 1.2. Let me do it here. 0 0.6 into 2. 6 twos are 12. 1 remains. 2 zeros are 0. Therefore, 1. After 1 number, we have a decimal point. Therefore, it will become 1.2. 1 1.2 1 plus 100 minus 1. Is what? 99. 99 into 1.1. 99 into 1.1 1 .1 is 108.9. Let me do it here. 99 into 1.1. 1 .1. Here. 9 1s are 9. 9 1s are 9. Plus. 9 1s are 9. 9 1s are 9. 9. 9 plus 9 is 18. Then 9 plus 1 is 10. That is 1089. But see here, after one number we have a decimal point. Right? Therefore, after one number we have to put a decimal point. Okay? That is, S is equal to 15, 1.2 plus 108. Point 0.9 Yes is equal to 15 1.2 plus 108.9 is 1.2 108.9 Plus 1.2 That is 9 plus 2 is 11 Then 8 plus 2 is 10 1 1 That is 110.1 110.1 Okay. Yes is equal to 50 into 110.1 is 110.1 into 50. See here. For this 0, let me write 0. 5 1s are 5. 5 zeros are 0. 5 1s are 5. 5 1s are 5. After one number, we have a decimal point. Therefore, after one number, we will put a decimal point. That is 5505.0 Okay, so let us write only 5505. 5505.0 5505.0 5505.0 5505.0 5505.0 5505.0 5505.0 5505.0 5505.0 5505.0 5505.0 5505.0 5505.0 5505.0 5505.0 5505.0 5
plus 1 into 15 is 15. S is equal to 11 by 2. 12 plus 15 is 27. 27 divided by 90. Okay. Now, S is equal to 11 by 2 into 27 divided by 90. 3, 9 is 27. 3, 30 is 90. Okay. Then, 3, 3 is 9. 3 tens are 30. S is equal to 11 by 2 into 3 divided by 10. That is S is equal to 11 3 is 33. 2 into 10 is 20. S 11 is equal to 33 by 20. 